Hey everyone, today we're going to learn about uh, contemporary colors. Applied visual design. Um, color theory and its impact on design is a deep to topic and only basics are covered in the following challenge. On a website, color can draw attention to content, invoke emotions, or create visual harmony. Using different combinations of colors can really change the look of a website. And a lot of thought can go into picking the color palette that works with your content. The color wheel is a useful tool to visualize how colors relate to each other. It's a circle where similar hues are, are neighbors and different hues are further apart. When two colors are opposite each other on the wheel, they are called complementary colors. They have characteristics that if they are combined, they cancel each other out and create a gray color. However, when placed side by side, these colors appear more vibrant and produce a strong visual contrast. For example, complementary colors with the hex codes of these, uh, red is F and then four zeros, two Fs, four zeros, etc. Uh, this is different than the outdated red, yellow, blue model, uh, color model that many of us were taught in school, uh, which has different primary and complementary colors. Modern color theory uses additive uh, red, green, blue model, like on a computer screen, and subtractive uh, cyan, magenta, yellow, and then K, which I think is um, opacity. Uh, that's for printing. Um, there's more information if you click this link, which seems to go to uh, the Wikipedia on color models. Um, there are many color picking tools available online that have no option to find the complement of a color, that have an option to find the complement of a color. Uh, for this challenge, we're using using colors can be a powerful way to add visual interest to a page. However, color alone should not be used as the only way to convey important information because users with visual impairments may not be able to understand them. Uh, this usual visual impairments issue will be covered in a later free code camp session in which you discuss how to make websites accessible and useful for people that um, are either blind, colorblind, or hard of hearing. Uh, this issue will be covered in more detail, oh, there we go, in the Applied Accessibility Challenges. Uh, so we want to change the background color of the property for blue and yellow classes to the respective color. And then we j they just want us to notice how the colors look different next to each other um, than they do compared against a white background. So I guess we can start with the blue. We just want to take this out and put in blue. And you notice it's sort of, I don't know. Just whatever you notice, you can look at this and you can see uh, the blue with the white background uh, next to no yellow. If we put in the yellow here, it becomes a lot more striking. I think that's the point of this tutorial. Um, so yeah, it's just a basic uh, color tutorial. Hope you guys enjoy this. See you in the next lesson.